Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mid-America Science Museum's Tesla Theater and Electric Show. The conical Tesla coil you are about to witness is the most powerful coil in the world at 1.5 million volts as acclaimed by Guinness World Record. This exhibit is a replica of the conical coil rated at 1 million volts at the world famous Griffith Observatory in the Hollywood Hills of Southern California. The massive two and a half ton steel Faraday cage is utilized to protect the viewing public from high voltage discharges, greatly reduces high frequency emissions, and to protect against any possible communications disruptions. It also provides an excellent grounding source to which the high voltage discharge can leak. Nikola Tesla was born July 9, 1856 in Yugoslavia, now known as Croatia, and was educated in Eastern Europe schools and universities. He came to America in 1884 with top educational honors, fluency in 18 languages, and a photographic memory. Upon arriving in America, he went to the New York laboratory of Thomas Alva Edison, who immediately hired him. After working for Edison for a short time, Tesla became disinterested in Edison's ongoing work with direct current and left his employee to pursue his own experiments with alternating current. Edison was staunchly opposed to alternating current, considering it too dangerous. He made many attempts to discredit Tesla's research. Nikola Tesla teamed with George Westinghouse to defend and promote his findings. For the first time ever, the two used alternating current to light 250,000 bulbs at the Chicago World's Fair in 1893. Using a Tesla coil, Tesla passed one million volts of high frequency electricity through his body to prove to the World's Fair audience that alternating current was safe and to demonstrate its unique properties. Alternating current was here to stay and many credit Tesla as father of alternating current. In 1889, Tesla moved his laboratory to Colorado Springs, Colorado, where he concentrated on the development of his famous coil. On July 3, 1899, Tesla tested the largest Tesla coil ever built. It generated 12 million volts and 50,000 watts of power at 100,000 cycles. It produced lightning bolts shooting up to 135 feet long. Tesla was researching methods of transmitting electricity without the use of traditional wires. He succeeded in lighting 250 watt incandescent lamps 26 miles away by generating an electric field with the Tesla coil. Nikola Tesla was exploring the nature of tuned circuits resonating at high frequency and high voltage. He discovered early in his research that while using a coil of a given wavelength, other coils tuned to the same wavelength or one of its harmonics would respond in sympathy by spouting its own crown of sparks, even though not physically connected in any way to the operating coil. That is an example of transmission of electric power over distance without wires. Three years later, in 1895, Tesla harnessed the awesome power of Niagara Falls to deliver electricity to the people in the surrounding area. This was acclaimed to be the supreme electrical engineering feat of all time. Of the 13 patents on these generators, nine were Teslas. Two impressive statues of Tesla stand in tribute to his achievements at Niagara Falls on Goat Island in the USA and Queen Victoria Park in Ontario, Canada. Other life-changing and enriching inventions attributed to Tesla include turbines, x-ray, radar, alternating current motors, fluorescent and neon lamps, and many other outstanding inventions. However, the transmission of electric power by radio waves was Tesla's greatest dream. With more than 250 patents to his credit, Tesla died at age 86, literally penniless in a New York hotel room on January 7, 1943. It is rather ironic that a man who gave the world so much received so little for his efforts. He spent the last years of his life in solitude. Tesla remarked, the mind is sharper and keener in seclusion and solitude. It does not cost a million dollars to think, and by thinking, the idea is created. Tesla's a riveting journey into the mind and life of the eccentric wizard who is Edison's enemy, Mark Twain's friend, J.P. Morgan's client, hero and mentor to many of the 20th century's most famous scientists. In final tribute, the Institute of Radio Engineers said he lived in a land of brilliant concepts and dreams so lofty as to be foredoomed, a catalyst in the realm of technology. 
His passing seems in a sense to be the end of an epoch. Tesla once remarked, the present is theirs. The future for which I really worked is mine. So get ready to experience Tesla's dream and the wonders of electricity.